Hello, 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 my dear student. This week, we will be starting lesson 11, one, three-dimensional figures and cross-sections. The essential question of this uh, lesson is how are three-dimensional figures and polygons related? After you're done with this lesson, you will be able to identify three-dimensional figures and their relationship with the polygons to solve problems. Let's go through over our lesson, we have five different concepts that will be covered, covering throughout this lesson. First example is to de de develop Euler formula. How many vertices, faces, edges does each prism contain? How many faces, vertices, and edges does each prism contain? Do you notice any patterns in these quantities? To help us answer these questions, we will complete a table of the number of faces, vertices, and edges for each prism. Remember, a face is a single surface, a vertex is a corner point, and an edge is a line segment that connects two vertices. Based off the data found, we will now look for patterns and relationships amongst these prisms. Then, We'll try to answer this question. How many faces, vertices, and edges do the pyramids have? Name at least three patterns you notice. Next. The formula states that the sum of the number of faces and vertices of a polyhedron is two more than the number of its edges. This is a very important formula that we will be using through our studies. And then we will apply Euler's formula in this polyhedron. We'll solve it, as you can see here in our lesson. <clears throat> in example three, we will describe the cross section. What do we mean by a cross section? Here. As you can see, the cross-sectional surface, how is it done, etc. So we will go through many this uh, many examples. This lesson is very interactive, and uh, here we have a plane intersect a tetrahedron parallel to the base. How do you draw the cross-section? We will go each uh, step through each step one by one, and then we will shade the cross section. Next, we will rotate a polygon to form a three-dimensional figure. Yeah. Again. Etc. So this lesson is very, again, interesting. And we have here the rotation of polygons. How do we rotate it? Then we have so many examples that we will solve to make sure that you have understand this lesson as you have understood all the previous lessons. Um, and that's it for this week. I hope you will be... Uh, safe, happy, and understanding. Have a good day, everybody.